Alia from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to recreate the Harry Potter teleport effect that we use in our short film based on the Fantastic Beasts film. Uh, it's a really cool effect, we've done it entirely in Adobe After Effects and I will link you some footage in the description so you can follow along with the tutorial using the same footage. So download that footage if you want to follow and let's get started. Alright, here we are in Adobe After Effects and the first thing that I will do is import my footage. You can download the same footage with the link in the description if you want to follow along with the exact same footage. So I will select my files and import these in After Effects. If I double click on the Harry Potter backplate, we'll see that we just have an empty scene here. This is just as a reference for our first shot. So I'm going to import this in a new composition and then I will drag my teleport in on top of that. I will go to composition, composition settings and just rename this to a main comp so it doesn't take the name from my first footage, click OK. I will drag the footage from the teleport in and just move it all the way to the end so it's actually ending right there. So we have an empty space waiting for it and then I jump in, I teleport in. I'll click, I'll go to the beginning of this teleport in and I will duplicate it, right click, time, freeze frame, so we only have this kind of shot, and then I will just drag it forward a little bit, let's go 10 frames forward and drag it in there, I will trim it down like so, and actually it can be a little bit shorter than 10 frames because it's quite long already, and now we have a freeze frame of uh, around 8 frames long. I'll then go into my mask tools, zoom in a little bit and ma mask myself out. It can be rough, doesn't really matter that much, so let's go. Okay, so I mask myself out as you can see right here and of course we're not going to see it um, because we have the identical background, but if we solo this, uh, we have no background here. So I'm going to unsolo this. Now that we masked ourselves out, I'm going to the puppet tool and I'm going to click on my body on these parts like so, one in the shoulder and the arms and the puppet allows us to actually deform our body so I'm going to put everything in a kind of circular motion something like this, I need to drag down my arm here my head a little bit on this side and I know this looks kind of funny but I'm going to get us some nice results as well so and that's the most important. Maybe this be a little bit more up here. And get something like this. So now we have something looking like this. Maybe we can trim it down a little bit more here on uh, the top side here. Because my head looks kind of dumb. Alright, so this looks pretty nice and then I'm going to the effect blur and sharpen motion blur or just Gaussian blur or directional blur. Let's take a directional blur and just put it b b before the puppet tool actually and we're going to increase it to something like 10. 15 is okay so we get some blur up front and it's going to be straight and then our puppet is going to deform it in a circular way. Then we're going to take our selection tool, click on that footage and actually change uh, select your pen behind tool, we're going to move this in kind of the center of um, our circle here, so if we take the same kind of distance over here, uh, we're going to put it over here, and then what we will do is click R on the keyboard for the rotation, go to the beginning of this layer, and also make this a 3D layer, and we're going to move the Z uh, rotation right here, so that's going to rotate our shot here. So I'm going to click on the stopwatch for my Z rotation, go to the end of my frame here, so that's right here, and I'm going to rotate it one time. So it's going to rotate like so, we get something like this, okay? We want, of course, the end to be similar to um, where we want to end, so we can drag it a little bit more like so, and we can actually also move it to the side so we actually form something like this um, maybe I want to drag it like so 
and then turn into myself. Okay, so right now we turn around and then I kind of jump into my being and then just falling out, something like so. I'm just going to start on the other uh, on another rotation so we can see that we're almost twice on, in the rotation so I'm just going to um, position this a little bit further as well so we just turn one time because I think it's a little bit too fast so now we have something like this okay we're also going to click on enable motion blur for that layer if you don't see that just toggle the switches and enable it and also enable it uh, enable it for the composition you can always right click composition settings and go to the advanced and right here you can increase your shutter angle if you want to and that's going to give a little bit more blur right here so we can click OK and then we're going to duplicate our teleport and we're just going to press the W key on our keyboard and then we want to rotate things a little bit so maybe one one like this um, click on the rotation for the Z and go to the end of the keyframe so make sure that both of these keyframes are selected while being with your time scrubber on top of one so it's actually selected and if we're going to move this um, it's also going to offset um, both of these keyframes so it's not going to be faster and now we get something like this here um, I'm going to click over here and actually rotate it a little bit more like so so we can actually see it in the camera then duplicate it once more and maybe offset it like so right here and also press U on the keyboard and click on Z position rotation and go to one of these keyframes and then also offset it of course uh, maybe right over here and now we have something like this Okay, so you can play around with these settings. I think one of these still have to has to change. You can also scale one down to so press S on the keyboard and scale it down so it looks a little bit different. And then duplicate once more and we're going to rotate it also on the Z here. So I'm going to press the R key again, click on the Z rotation, go to the end and rotate it on the opposite side here. So right over here. And that way we get something like this. Also move it a little bit more to the front. Okay, there we go. So if we're going to play this back. I don't like this one, so I'm going to click on this one and just rotate the X a little bit more. Okay. So we don't get these sharp lines here. And actually we can take all of these and just reposition them to actually fit our composition so we can actually keep them in the original location. And there we go, okay. So now we have all of these rotating and then right at the end we just jump into our original shot and it looks like we're getting there. We can also click on one of these teleportations, press S on the keyboard, click on this keyframe, move like three frames forward or four and click on make a new keyframe. Then go to the beginning keyframe and just zero this out so it actually starts out of nothing and then copy these keyframes or just select them first, right click, time assistance, easy ease and then copy and paste them on all of these and that's going to reveal them right here. So if we're going to do that it's going to start out of nothing and then they come together like so. Okay pretty cool. What you can do as well is right at the end here where I jump in to add a little bit of a smoke buff if you have kind of uh, stock footage that gives something like that. We will be releasing a smoke puff pack um, in the future but it's not 
uh, quite ready yet. So if you're interested in that, um, definitely check our website. It depends on when you're seeing this tutorial. Um, but yeah, that can really help out here um, with the final results. So to actually give it a shock effect, a little bit of smoke around your character right here. So once you have something like this, we can actually select all of these files and go to layer, pre-compose and then move all the attributes. I'm going to um, rename this to teleport comp. And then I'm going to use a, an effect called Wiggle, uh, which you can actually download on our website at the freebies page. So what I will do is right at the beginning uh, where we see nothing, uh, we're going to click on these keyframes for the slider. So it's at zero, then go forward a few frames with the page down button. You can do so like right over here. And then we're going to increase the uh, amplitude to something like 25 and the frequency maybe uh, to 20 and then move forward until we're completely in the shot. So right over here, maybe and then zero this out. And if we're going to play this back, we're going to get a little bit of a shake. Press U on the keyboard to reveal these keyframes. I'm going to trim these down a little bit more and go back to that shot. Um, also enable motion blur for your footage and you're going to get something like this. The amplitude can be something like 15. Right click composition settings, go in advanced and lower your shutter angle a little bit like so. Also going to lower my frequency to something like eight. And the amplitude something like seven. It's a little bit too intense. Okay, so it's trial and error, but like eight and seven kind of works. Uh, don't overdo it. it, it has to be subtle, so. Okay, this looks pretty cool. So now we have a little shake on the impact and that gives it a little bit of better effect. So now we have a shake on the impact and that's going to sell the shot a little bit better. We can trim these down even more if you want to. So it's actually real sudden that it starts to shake and then it fades out like so. We can also select these last keyframes, right click, ease, keyframe assistance and easy ease right here. And now we have something like this. All right, we have a pretty cool result. That's how to create a teleportation effect like in Harry Potter. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a like and also subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.